I want to introduce logs uh, in this video and uh, on, on, a graph, on a scientific calculator or a graphic calculator. Uh, let me show you how to, what's log. So on a calculator you have a key called log. So if you press, if you press log of 10, that will give you 1. Okay, log, I'll explain what this means, log of 100 will be 2. I would like you to think how log of 1000 is 3. Uh, log of 10,000 is 4. 10,000 is 4 and so on. Okay, there's also a key called LN. This is natural log. Okay, so LN of say 5 is, I don't know what that number is, this is this huge number. So I'll not, this is ln is also log, but you will learn about ln when you learn calculus. ln, and this is read as natural log. ln stands for natural log. So you read backwards. So let me first start with log. So we wrote log of, this is how you read, log of 10 is 1. You can check it again. So log of 100 is 2. Log of 1000 is 3. And log of 10,000 is 4. Now, students, when they learn log, they start wondering where on earth are we going to use log. Now, log is used widely in science and maths. Suppose you have an equation, so let just to give you a preview where we are heading. Suppose you want to solve, uh, say, okay, so let's sort, write an equation. Say 2 raised to x is equal to 50. So this is type of equation that we would like to solve. Okay, so 2 raised to something is, we want to find the exact value of x, which gives you 50. So that's where we are heading. So to understand how to solve this, you have to use log. Okay, so now log, when you write log, log has a base. So the base of this log is 10. Okay, so yeah. Now 10, the number system that we use is the decimal number system. Okay, so let's talk about the decimal number system. This decimal number system has got 10, 10 digits, and that's why it's called decimal number system. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 10 digits in the 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so these are the 10 digits. Now any number can be written in terms with a base 10. Okay, so, so let me give you a suppose number 1, 25. So 125 you have learned in primary school is 100 plus 20 plus 5. Well, can we write this in terms of 10? So this is same as writing. This is 5 times 1. This 5 can be written as 5 times 1. Sorry, not 10. Oops, 5 times 1. This I'm going to write this is 5 times 1. This 20 can be written as 2 times 10. And this 100 can be written as plus here 1 times 100. Okay, now again simplifying this. So can I write this as 1 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 raised to 1 plus five times, this one can be written as 10 raised to zero. So this 125 writing, writing in the base 10 or in the decimal number system in the expanded form is can be written like this. So let me show this on a calculator. So if you go one times 10 squared plus two times 10 raised to one, 10 raised to one, plus 5 times 10 raised to 0 is same as writing 125. Okay, so here 
I want my emphasis on the word base. So here we are writing one, oops, we, we are writing this in the base of 10. So this is base 10, this is base 10, and this is base 10. Okay, so here this log has also a base of 10. So this is base 10. So calculator doesn't, get, by default, when you write log, it has a base of 10. Okay, so let me write the basic log rule. Basic log rule. Now this is one rule which you should understand thoroughly. Okay, this formula will be given in your formula sheets. But if you understand it, you can understand any exponential or log equation. So the rule is like this. If if say b if we b for b is any number raised to x if it is equal to y this is called the exponential form this is the exponential form the same this form of exponential form i want you to compare so here you can compare with your b with 2 your x with x and your y with 50 if b raised to x is equal to 5, you do an arrow on both sides. So this means this is read as double implies. Double implies. That means it can go from one side to the other. I'll write it, finish. Double implies. Log base b of y is equal to x. So I just want you to stop and look at the rule. So this is called this is called the log form. This is the log form, and this is the exponent form. So you can go from the exponent form to the log form, or the log form to the exponent form. So I like to remember the log form like this: b raised to x. You go across like this: b raised to x is equal to y. So this and this are one and the same, but different forms. So this is how I remember. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. So this is one. It's good to always check. So what does this mean? Log, how could I say log of 10 is one because the base of log is 10 because I know 10 raised to one is 10. Okay, now if suppose in your calculator, if you go log one, that would give you zero. Okay, because I know, I'll show this, I forgot this, so this is 10 raised to 0 is 1. 10 raised to 0 is 1. So how could I know that log of 100 is 2? Because I know that 10 raised to 2 is 100. Okay, and I know 10 cubed is 1000 and 10 raised to 4 is 10,000. So if someone is asking you, uh, you can be cheeky and say I know log of log of say 10 uh, 100,000 100 uh, 1 million okay 1 million am I right yeah 1 million is you can say is so I'll I will I'll say 10 raised to what is 1 million. So, well, I know 10 raised to 6 is 1 million. So, if you know 10 raised to 6 is 1 million, you can say log of 1 million would be 6. So, let's check it. So, log of 1 million. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equal to 6. Okay. So, how can we use this? So, okay. So, let's use this fact or this knowledge to uh, solve this. Okay, before that, I'll have to explain one more rule. I will not prove it, but you just remember it. I have made a video of that if you want to understand the proof. The second thing that you have to remember, which is very useful, log base b of x is log x log x divided by log b okay log base log 
base b of x is log of x divided by log of 2, log of b, sorry. So, so let me give you an example. This is a very, if you know these two rules, you can do any problem of exponential and log equations. So what does this mean? So if you say, if someone is asking you, what is log base 2 of 8? You should know it is 3. Okay, why? Because, because I know 2 raised to 3 is 8. Okay, what is log base 2 of 16? Well, you should know that is 4, because you should know 2 raised to 4 is 16. Okay, but now, so let me show this, how to get from this to this. So, so let me delete this. If, uh, if you want to be cheeky, if you want to be smart, we know the answer. But if you want to get the answer using a calculator, so if you want to use a calculator, if you want to get 3, you can say that is same as log 8 divided by log 2. Okay, log 2, sorry, log this would be log 16 divided by log 2. So let me show this on a calculator. So if you go press log 8 divided by log 2, that will give you the answer. That is 3. Log 16 divided by log 2 will give you 4. Okay, so let me give you one more example. Suppose First, let's write the answer. Say log base 3 of 27. So let's directly write the answer. So you ask the question 3 raised to what? So you should answer in this question. So let me write. So that to answer the question, to get the answer directly, we, you should know 3 raised to what gives you 27. That's basically what log base 3 of 27 is. Well, 3 raised to 3 is 27, so the answer is 3. So if you want to use a calculator, you go log 27 divided by log 3. Log 27 divided by log 3. So let's use the calculator. Log, log 27 divided by log 3 is 3. Okay, so now let me, okay, I want you to think how to solve this yourself. 